Hey there, welcome to this new guide. I'm Ravi and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Xbox One S or Xbox One X for mobile streaming. So now you can stream your Xbox games directly on your Android device. Unfortunately, iPhone users will have to wait for a while. This is useful if someone is watching TV in your living room but you want to play games on Xbox well now you can without fighting over the TV that too from any corner of your house it works great and there's almost negligible delay in the response time which means all the games are playable so let's get to the setup and configuration part Now to set up mobile streaming on your Android phone, you don't need a high-end device. Any Android phone running on Android 7 and above will work. So to set up, you need to first sign up for Xbox Insiders. And for that, you need to download an app called Xbox Hub. Install this app and then sign in using your Microsoft account. Then go to Insider Content and under System, you will see an option called Xbox Insider Preview Update and roll your xbox for this xbox one update preview omega and select done and then close this app and go back to main settings now on the settings you have to go to system update and downloads and check for the latest insider update select update console and then select start update to begin installation this may take a while so sit back and relax your Xbox will eventually restart. After the installation is done, open settings and navigate to devices and streaming, device connection and enable streaming options as shown in this video right here. You need to enable these options and once done, you have to go back to the main settings page. Now you need to select accessories under devices and streaming. Select the three dots, this will open a new page Tap on the firmware update and uh, update your console firmware. This is very critical and you must update your controller firmware. After firmware is updated, go back to the main settings of your Xbox. Now you have to go back to general settings, network settings and make sure that the NAT type is open. If it's moderate or strict or displays double NAT detected, follow the video guide I have already uploaded to fix this Xbox problem which is double NAT detected. The link is given in the description and it will also appear right here. To ensure smooth streaming on your Android device, connect your Xbox to the wired LAN cable. So now again go back to the main settings page and under general settings select power mode and startup. Now here from power mode drop down choose instant on and configure other options as shown in this video. At this point, you are halfway done. Now after the Xbox preview update that you have just installed, you will see a new option under devices and streaming. It's called console streaming. Select that option and enter your password. Then select enable console streaming. Now this will start a test to check all the settings required for console streaming. It will also display any error message or warning if it founds any. You have to fix all these problems and try again. If all the settings are fine with some warnings, you will see an option to enable the console streaming. Select that. Now this will enable the console streaming on your Android device. Now at this point everything is done on your Xbox One and it's time to set up your Android phone and that's pretty easy. On your Android phone, open the Google Play Store and install Xbox streaming app. Open the app and then tap next, next and then tap on sign in. This will open a web page on your selected web browser. You have to sign in using the same Microsoft account that you use in Xbox One. After the successful sign in, you'll see an option called Let's Play. Just tap on it. Now you need to connect console and controller. So make sure your Android is connected to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band. 2.4 GHz won't work so make sure you have a dual band router and your Xbox One is connected to the wired LAN cable. 
Now to pair the controller, you have to open the Bluetooth settings of your Android phone and press the pairing button on the Xbox One controller. When your controller light starts to blink very quickly, it's ready to pair with your Android phone. So in your Bluetooth settings, you will see Xbox wireless controller. Just tap on it, pair it and you will get connected. Once connected, the controller lights will stop blinking immediately. Now open the Xbox streaming app again on your Android phone and you will see an option to connect to your Xbox One. So tap on connect and wait for a moment. You will be connected to your Xbox One and the Xbox One will start streaming on your Android phone. And this is really cool. If you own an Android device with a crisp display, you will love the experience. I played Titanfall 2 on my device and I really enjoyed it. As currently I don't have the controller clip to attach my Android, I'm using this mini tripod. But if you want to stream and play Xbox One games on your Android, you need to definitely buy this clip. I'll buy this once the lockdown opens up in New Delhi and it's very cheap. The links are given in the description. Overall, the gameplay is smooth and response time as I told you earlier is almost real time. There's a negligible delay which is of course obvious. Now in case if you have faced any error during the setup or you are not able to connect it or problem with your controller or anything related to streaming, just leave your comment in the comment section below. I would be more than happy to help you. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more updates on Xbox One and other games. Also like this video if it helped you and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.